Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the $600 Hascon exclusive promotional cards. Now I expect these to be quite valuable. The only way you can get these next cards that I'm going to spoil are is by going to Hascon, flying to Hascon, and paying $600 for the Magic the Gathering Superfan. There is, is no other way to get these promos. They will be incredibly expensive because this has happened one time in the past with Dragon Con, and that card got just insanely expensive because the only way you could get it was by going to Dragon Con. Now let's talk about the cards. You have Sword of Dungeons and Dragons, obviously a reference to Dungeons and Dragons. Free artifact equipment. All of these are mythics. Equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from rogue and from clerics. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, create a 4-4 gold dragon creature token with the flying and roll a d20. If you roll a 20, repeat this process. Equip 2. So not the not an overly powerful card, but a very balanced card that should see a lot of play. I like the randomness of it. I think it's kind of interesting. And overall, you got to hit... You get a 4-4 Dragon. That seems very, very good in EDH. I expect this card to be played in EDH. Most casual players are not really going to care that it is silver border, therefore probably not tournament legal. Beautiful card, though. Beautiful card. Uh, next, Grimlock from Transformers. Dinobot Leader. One, a red, a green, and a white. Artifact, legendary artifact creature. Dinosaurs, vehicles, and other Transformers creatures you control get plus two plus zero. Pay two, convert a Transformer a toy you own to its other mode. Grimlock Dinobot Leader becomes Grimlock Ferocious King, which will be very interesting as we will see the flip as well, soon enough. But the best card, in my opinion, is Nerf War, which is free, a red, and a. It's very creative. Uh, free a red and a blue sorcery. Fire a nerf blaster until empty at target library from at least two meters away. For each card knocked off the library, put it into its owner's graveyard. Nerf war deals one half. Is it one half or? I think it's one half, maybe one seventh uh, damage to that player. Foam darts only. So quite interesting. Uh, it's very unglue esque right? The Sword of Dungeon Dragons might see some play in the EDH deck, but you're definitely not going to blast your opponent's library because they might damage the cards, right? I don't know any opponent that would allow you to do that. Um, it may be a super casual game, but some of these EDH decks run ex incredibly expensive, right? they are very, very expensive um, decks out there, and I don't imagine pe your opponent would be happy to allow you to shoot them even if it is worth a nerf gun. Grimlock is probably my favorite. We're going to see the back of Grimlock and we're going to see the dragon, the gold dragon. Both are very beautiful and they could have done this at any time, they just chose not to. So here we have the legendary artifact creature. It is an 8-8 which is good. Trample, convert a transformer toy you own to its other mode. Grimlock Ferocious King becomes Grimlock Dinobot Leader. So a flip card, and here is the dragon. That is a gorgeous dragon, right? I wonder if those will be the promos we will receive. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping, it's not like they can, they do a, it's not like if they tried, they do a bad job. I just feel a lot of times with the current card quality and the creativity, they don't try very hard. And then for these special sets, these sets that only a few people get, which is kind of ironic, they spend, you know, they brainstorm it, they think a long time, they get everyone there. I mean, that dragon token is probably the most beautiful card in Magic I've seen in a while. And not many people will even receive this token. So it's kind of a shame, in my opinion, that all that work was spent doing it and all the other cards. And for the premium masterpieces, if the masterpieces all looked like that dragon and Amaket and Hour of Devastation, they would sell like hotcakes, no problem. 
Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.